you know, as you know, I'm just doing some little frugal upgrades in my kitchen and I want to change the lids of these as well. I've had these for so many years and I've been scrubbing these. Um, I can get the rust out, but then it'll come back. So I'm going to change these black and hopefully they'll last. We don't really do too much banging on these or these don't get any mud. Ugh. <laughs> these do not get a lot of damage or anything to them. So I'm figuring that when I paint these, these will be awesome and they'll pop and look much better over here in this space. So let's go get this started. I'm getting ready to spray paint these and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it cover everything up with some bags I'm getting ready to um, wipe these off and sand them down wipe these off sand them down and then wipe them again with alcohol and then I'm getting ready to spray them okay my reviver so I'm headed outside and I am out here roughing up the surface of the actual canister tops and I do this because this will allow the spray paint to adhere to the surfaces that have like a nice slick shiny surface you just want to take a fine grit and lightly go over all the areas that you will be spray painting and then you rub that dusty stuff off with some alcohol and then you begin to spray paint nice and simple guys this is the same can of spray paint that I use to spray paint and upgrade my my faucet this spray paint lasted okay guys so look out for places like all ollies and um big lots for secondhand outlet things like spray paint and stuff for a lower price because this can usually is about four bucks and i spent two so this is what they look like on the counter but i'm also going to do another project and show you how that turned out with me upgrading and doing a little diy of refurbish to that as well with some spray paint spray paint can change your life and change your space for the low and you will save your coin so let's see what these bad boys look like before because as you see this is what they look like now and this is a broken camera lens i had a broken camera lens and did not realize it till i went back to finish my faucet and you can kind of see a glare coming into the camera but you know i had to get this footage to you guys so this is what it looked like before once again and then we're going to show you another quick after and then we're going to move on to the next project guys do you guys like that i'm going to be changing this little area just to make it uncluttered all right so naya is just wiping this off and getting it all nice and shiny for me and then she's going to rub it down with some alcohol which you won't see in the video but you know the power of editing and then i'm going to take this bad boy apart by taking the knob off i want to show you what it looks like before as you see i removed those cookbooks it was just too much going on and i wanted it to look more minimal minimal over here so i moved the cookbooks and you should have probably seen that in another video so let's head outside so i'm going to be using the double coverage rust-oleum and as you see i am also going to be using the sanding block to take the shine off of this so that way the spray paint will adhere to this as well so that's how your girl is doing and then I'm going to spray paint it. I think I put about a good three coats on it and yeah, so watch me work. Wiping down your area of whatever it is you're trying to spray paint is so important because it will leave little granules in your paint paint surface and it will not look smooth so make sure you wipe it down take the time be patient wipe it down i love my rust-oleum nozzle this bad boy is amazing i've been spray painting for a while so i always um tell people if you are a beginner because a lot of people get frustrated just take your time light strokes light strokes if you go light strokes and let it dry for about 10 15 minutes come back again you will get the desired look but if you are not good with spray painting sometimes you're spraying too much and not realizing and you won't have a smooth surface it'll be drippy and it won't be to your desire and then you'll be a little frustrated so take your time and nicely do light strokes and then come back to it okay don't rush it you'll be you'll feel better about it later when you take your time and you're patient so this knob i thought was um the other way where the screws went in and i can set it up on top of something but it wasn't so it was flat so i had to screw holes into the wood to hold this up in order for me to spray paint it so that's what i'm doing i'm getting my drill bits and i'm making big holes so that the screws can just kind of set up in it and yeah it was kind of like trial and error because i never had to spray paint this type so yeah i'm going to just be putting some holes in here and hopefully letting it stand in there all right guys 
enjoy the video and you will see the outcome and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so the last step was painting this knob and I'm going to let that dry. But guess what? We're going to go back and look at what this bad boy looked like before I even touched it. Do you see the difference just from the cookbooks not being there? It looks more clean line and minimal. And so this is what the bad boy looks like today. I'm so excited. One can of spray paint, two bucks, guys. You can refurbish your spaces and I recommend semi gloss or a satin, at least a satin or gloss, depending on your taste you go by that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later gator